Hi, and welcome to my 2021 vision board. In light of making it through January and despite some crazy events that have helped kick off the beginning of the year, I genuinely believe that this year can take a turn for the better. If you're like me, you'll love to visualize everything, which is why I decided I'm going to create my 2021 vision board with you guys. But first things first, what is a vision board, you might ask? Well, according to dictionary.com, a vision board is a collage of pictures, text, and other items that represent and affirm one's dreams and ambitions, created to help visualize and focus on one or more specific aspirations. According to me, it's something I can look at every day as a reminder to get my ass out of bed and work toward my dreams. Enough talking, let's get into this. The first thing you want to do is gather a bunch of photos or words that represent your goals. Then I scrolled through my Pinterest feed and collected my favorite images that I felt best fit the goals that I have for this year. Once I had gathered all my photos, I headed to Office Depot to print out these images in color. Now, you can also print them as photos, but personally, I just didn't want them to be glossy. Now, some other items you might want to consider buying before starting is a bottle of glue, some colorful pens, markers, and of course, a photo frame. Now, I bought my photo frame at Hobby Lobby because I'm extra, but you can get some at the dollar store for literally a dollar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out the photos that I have like roughly and eventually I want to go back like once I'm actually laying it out and stuff I want to go back and then like maybe trace the item that I'm actually wanting to use so for example for this one like I really want to use this camera and then this but I don't want the whole white space in the back so I'm just going to cut it out but for right now I'm just going to leave it like this because it's easier to see like what um what photos and stuff I have so so far so far I've done two sheets out of like six so it's gonna be we're gonna be here a while I went ahead and I cut up all I went ahead and I cut up all of the little pictures that I have. I had a total of 20 pictures. I made sure it was strategically planned that way. And, oh. I should have had 21 pictures. Whatever. What? I'm so stupid. I got 20 pictures um, from the mood board that I had on Pinterest. And so what I did is I just cut them up, like how I said earlier. And I'm going to go into detail with like more like the cutting a little bit later. Maybe tomorrow, depending on... I don't think I'm going to have time today. But I just wanted to like get a couple of these and then explain them because I don't want to explain all of mine because then that's like a 30 minute long video of me just explaining what my goals are. So like for the camera, this is the camera that I have and I want to just be more consistent on YouTube this year. Um, I put this beautiful model. She's obviously posing but um, she's in a workout set so I'm going to use that as like as a reminder to stay fit this year. I've been doing pretty good on my fitness grind recently so hopefully that continues this little like weird photo if you don't let's see if you can see it. if you like at first glance you probably think this is like a serial killer or something but it's just a face mask and i think this is a reminder to myself to you know sometimes like i'm a very hectic person and i feel like i'm always anxious and stuff so this is a reminder to take some time for myself do a little bit of skincare and also keep up with skincare because that's something that I've noticed a change in recently. Okay, that one probably seems like I, I'm not a stalker. I just I've looked up to Emma Chamberlain since like 2017 when I started watching her videos, and then she blew up. So she's always been an inspiration for me. Um, so I just kind of like want to put her there as a reminder that you know things are possible. And then the last one I'll do. Actually, I do two more. This girl with the camera because I want to use my film camera more this year. Yeah, I think I want to like start capturing more moments on my film camera because I love the whole like snap it and then have to wait a couple months and you don't see <laughs> wait a couple months and then like not months what am i seeing a couple weeks and then you have the the photos chelsea good morning good morning um that's um a podcast some evil eyes to work wear off the bad vibes so this little quote it takes time because i'm very impatient and i want things done a certain way at a certain time so i think it's just a reminder to myself 
to not to chill out for a bit sometimes obviously I have more over here but that I'm just not gonna bore you with something I forgot to mention the paper I printed these on from Office Depot are cardstock with the matte finish so they're a lot thicker than like the normal paper and I did that because I don't know I think it was gonna look better in the frame I'm not sure but just so you guys know what I did I guess Alrighty guys, so I look different because it's obviously a different day. It's actually night. I don't know if you can tell. Okay guys, so one thing, actually two things that I want to clarify. My lip gloss in the next couple of clips literally came out like this. And it's because I tried to look presentable because I've had like no makeup on all day. So when I tried to put on my lip gloss, I did it in a hurry and it looks like that. So I'm sorry, it did not mean to overline my lip like that. Um, I am aware, I'm aware, and I'm also aware of the fact that my hair is like this, and that's because my glasses, I can't see without them, so when I take them off, they look like this, and obviously I did not see my hair, so yeah, back to Mess Jackie. I took all of today to edit the first part of the video that you just saw, so hopefully you guys like it so far. And now I'm going to get to assembling the actual vision board. In order to show you guys exactly what I'm doing, I'm gonna try a new like filming process setup thing. It'll probably be a little janky, but I'm doing my best with what I have. So with me right now, I have my frame, all of the photos that I cut up yesterday, my bottle of glue, and a box full of colors and markers and just a bunch of like craft stuff i'm gonna use this paper as what i'm gonna glue everything onto so it's like a i don't know and now i'm just gonna cut everything into little pieces Before I go ahead and paste everything down with glue, I'm going to set it up in a way that the goals that I find most prominent are going to be toward the center. So when I look at it, my eyes are drawn to the center naturally. It's just something I'm, I'm going to test out. You guys can obviously do your vision board however you guys want, but that's just a little tip in case you want to, I don't know, make it a little bit more exciting or something.
that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and make a vision board of your own. They're honestly so much fun to make by yourself or with a friend and a great way to stay motivated. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this type of content and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.